Rob, you like these FA Cup replays, don't you? <laughs> yeah, we do, Jeff. Um, doing it the hard way again. What did you make of the game today? I thought, it, obviously, for the neutral watching, it'd be good. I thought, I think the fans will be, there'll, there'll be mixed emotions, of course. I think it'll be that we gave everything. I think they'll see, you know, there's some good quality play in there. We, we really pushed, we were positive. A couple of really good goals, you know. The way we we won the ball back and regained it to get the penalty, I was really pleased with. I thought Clicker's goal was outstanding, um, but a couple of mistakes, obviously that we you know from the goals that we conceded and areas that we've got to keep working on. And um, you know, especially the second one's really frustrating, really frustrating because uh, you know we just scored and we've got to be like robots. We've got to be ice cold in those moments. We've got to do our jobs really, really well. But I said three, you know, three sort of key things before the game, and, and set, piece, set pieces was one of them. So the, the first one was very disappointing as well. But that being said, boys gave everything. Uh, we're still in the hat, and uh, we've got to go and do that whenever it is in a, in a couple of weeks' time. I suppose once you took the lead, well, most people thought that would be that then, and then you go and concede straight away. Yeah, really disappointing. Really disappointing. And the lads, are, the lads are down in there. The beautiful thing about football is there's a game just around the corner to try and um, pick ourselves up again. We'll be in tomorrow, we'll look at it back, we'll learn from it. Um, and I said to the lads, I don't want to see anyone down. There's no point in moping about it. It is what it is, it's happened. We're still in the hat. It's not the end of the world. You know, there was some good play today as well. And Grimsby gave absolutely everything. We knew it was going to be a difficult game. Um, both teams went for it and uh, I thought it was a good cup time. Yeah, credit then, they put in a real shift, didn't they? At 2-2, did you think you did enough to go and win the game? We tried, I mean, we made positive changes. You know, Carlton had a great chance, the, the keeper made an unbelievable save. Bears had a good volley right at the end where he made great contact. You know, the action was at our end, but obviously they were a threat from any kind of counter-attack or long ball or a set piece from a free kick. Some questionable decisions, but, um, you know, we had to deal with some, some balls coming into the box. But Ultimately, you'd have to say, no, we tried, but we couldn't quite get that, uh, that final bit. Clark was the outstanding player on the pitch and, and capped it with a goal. Yeah, he was very, very good today. thought he showed loads of moments of composure, some good skill. He was brave in possession. Brilliant goal. Just one or two a bit quieter. Is that just uh, how football happens? Yeah, it is, isn't it? You can't be outstanding or, you know, an eight or nine out of ten every single week. The big thing for me, I'd be disappointed if I didn't see effort, but I saw the effort, saw the commitment, which you always see from this group of players. Um, we're going to make mistakes, we're human beings, so I've got no problem with that at all. Pick ourselves up, we go again Tuesday. I mean, you're, you've got a replay, you'll still be big favourites for that replay, even though it's away from home. Yeah, and we've got to accept that. We said that before the game as well, didn't we? Um, you know, and we've got, we've, we've got eyes on them now, we've gone up against them, um, as they have with us. We know what to expect. Um, we've done it once before, we had to go up to Wigan and, and do it on a Tuesday night, we'll have to do the same now with Grimsby. Just games stacking up, I suppose that's the annoyance, isn't it? You've got one on Tuesday and then you could, you may have a fifth round midweek one as well. That's what it is, it's fine, you know. We play, I think the players would rather play than train, so let's see it positive. Carlton Morris came on, so he's obviously okay now. Yep, Carlton and Corley, two lads that have been, um, been out for a little bit, but nice to have them back amongst it. Lots of speculation about Harry Cornick, what's his future? Uh, like we said, really, with, um, with one or two of the players, we've got some good players here and there's always speculation. Um, What's really important that everyone understands is that um, we are really ambitious at, the club, at this club, like I am, I'm really ambitious and we want to come out of every window in a stronger position um, and I'm convinced I know that we'll do that um, but we've got good players and there's always going to be interesting one, or, interesting one or two. I think it's really key, I knew when I joined this club that I had to buy into and I do buy into how we work and our financial uh, constraints. Um, the last thing any of us want to see, the last thing any of us want to see is what happened years ago in not too distant past where the club was in trouble. And I think now you know, I'm fully on board with how we do things um, and I'm convinced and I know we'll be in a good position come the end of this window. Um, I think it's really important that I get that message across. What, what does that mean then? Does that mean he's staying or does that mean he's going? That means there's interest in our players. Mm but we'll be in a good position coming into this window. I suppose with Jerome gone now, does that mean that there will need to be a striker brought in? We'll be in a good position by the end of this window. We'll, re we'll recruit where we need to. And a quick one on uh, Tuesday night and, and Cardiff, back to the Championship and a, a chance to get back up that table in those yeah, playoffs. You're right, you're right, Jeff. I mean, 
know, today we, we had a disappointment against West Brom. Whenever it was now, it feels like a lifetime ago already. But we bounced back with a couple of wins. And today we haven't lost the game. I know we were favourites and I know we're at home against a, a team that's below us. But the FA Cup can throw up some strange results. And you can see what it means to them and how much they give. We haven't lost the game. We're still in the hat. So we've cut with three games unbeaten and we've got to keep that run going.